All right, we're gonna play a little game today. I don't know who, which camera to talk to. Um, all right, we're gonna play a little game today. It's called the Florida Man Game. I'm gonna read you oh. news headlines. Very That's simple. True. So I, I just have to say if it's true or not. <laughs> yeah, true or false? Is this real? Yeah, they're all gonna be real. Okay. Okay. Naked Florida man causes fire while baking cookies on a George Foreman grill. I mean, a hundred percent true. That is correct. A hundred percent true to Carly. <laughs> it's gonna, be, it's gonna be so hard. You can make up the weirdest thing, but it would sound normal for Florida. A hundred percent for me. That one was like, I feel like it was like John making it up, but it it didn't seem outlandish. It like did not seem outlandish enough to be false. You know what I mean? Like, I'm like, okay, know, it's definitely possible, but it seems like John would just write that. So this guy was just butt naked. Mm-hmm. Wait. And he was like, I'm going to make cookies on a George For- Can you make cookies on a George Foreman girl? Like, that's not what it's used for, right? No. I'm gonna s- I'm gonna I mean, s- it should be for, like, steak and... Well, I feel like the cookies would just fall through unless he had, like, one of the little pans to put on top that's, of it. Uh, that's what I mean. Like, I don't know if he put it on something and, like, people do that if they just have that, like, while camping or something. Also, question, is he homeless? Is he, like, in his own home doing this? A Florida, oh, he'd been... A Florida police set fire la- uh, to his home last month <laughs> after he tried to bake his cookies home. using a George Foreman grill when he'd firefighters... Been... Huh? Go ahead. He'd been drinking and smoking <laughs> all day is the sub headline of this article. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> all right, like, that checks out then. Totally doable. It's like a full Michael Scott <laughs> moment. Like when I was, he yeah. burned his foot on the George Foreman grill. <laughs> this would be Zane if he still lived in Florida. <laughs> we should, Jason, you should do a video like recreating all these headlines. <laughs> like you should try to cook cookies on a George Foreman grill. Oh, that's a really funny idea. <laughs> Naked. Um, Watch out, John. I'm coming for your job. <laughs> Just put um, us on salary. <laughs> it says that he had drunk two liters of vodka. <laughs> oh, my God. Wow, that's a lot. I'm like, was this pre or post quarantine? Like, currently? <laughs> because if it was if it was during, then I mean it's like totally understandable. <laughs> this this is like 2018, so oh jeez. Um, so he was just real bored and crossfaded. Okay, here we go. <laughs> now over to Aaron. Okay. Florida man wearing hover shoes caught stealing from Walmart. Real or fake? Uh, real. That is correct. It's real. They're all gonna be real. <laughs> They're just all gonna be fucking real. Hover I shoes? Knew. Oh my god. These freaking Florida people. No, like it doesn't surprise me that both Zane and Heath are from Florida. <laughs> oh, I know. A Florida man went all high tech on his latest crime spree using hover shoes to skate through Walmart before leaving with hundreds of dollars in merchandise. <laughs> A- he whizzes up to the front of the store, then goes up and down the aisles. <laughs> I just feel like you could get out faster running. <laughs> Why is he using hover shoes yeah. that you could potentially fall? Also, like, how embarrassing would that be if you just stole all that and fell face first into the floor of Walmart? Okay, so he stole a TV, paint, a trash can, flowers, and so a romantic. hoverboard. That's like the most... Did he go to like every section and just take like, one thing? I wonder if this was for Valentine's Day. <laughs> when was this, my very... <laughs> I don't know. He's he's painting a trash can that they could like sit in and watch a movie on the TV and yeah. give her flowers, and then her gift was a hoverboard. <laughs> it was for all out of love. He That's was so doing romantic. it for love. It's really like love, actually, of him. We I feel like we have to stand this man. <laughs> Is right. he in jail right now? I don't know. <laughs> have you seen that? Wait, have you seen those TikToks of the girls that have like, guys, I saw a TikTok where you can um, write prisoners or write people in jail and look at these men and they're all like hot. <laughs> they're all just no hot. No way. It's a, t- yeah. it's a TikTok and they're, they're prisoners you can write to? Yeah, so like people are have been saying like if you're bored during quarantine and like are lonely, you can write prisoners or whatever. Oh, and, like, that's it's- so weird. We literally said that we should do that. I know. Well, I think I said that because I saw it on TikTok. Oh, got it. But it's like a joke, basically. But then some girls are doing it, and they're like attractive, like young guys that'll that have like mirror selfies and stuff. It's like what? And she was like, 
what is he in there for? Well, manslaughter, but it's kind of romantic <laughs> if you really think about it. That is so funny. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's kind of romantic. <laughs> All right, I'm going to read you the next one. Okay. Let's oh, this is mine. go. Okay. Let's get through this. Carly, here we go. Florida man crashes tricycle into police car while intoxicated, <laughs> sues police for tricycle repair. <laughs> I mean, I would hope it's true. <laughs> what is your answer? It's Carly. true. I'm so sorry, Carly. That's wrong. What? what? Wow. And it's fake. That is a, 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 a. I'm laughing so hard because, like, on a normal game show, you don't know that it's just one guy writing it. So all you guys do is go, like, let's see, what would John. <laughs> <laughs> we know John made this whole thing up. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but that sounds like something that would definitely have happened. Yeah, it yeah. does. It does. Okay. Well, that one is not true. Sorry, Carly. Oh, I'm really sad that there's no article for me to click about this story. <laughs> I, I would know, love to I read love... about it. Okay, now we're going over to Aaron. Aaron. Okay. Florida man threatens another... Okay, hold on one second. Oh, wait a minute, guys. There's a special guest. Ooh. That might be trying to come in. Oh my god, I'm so nervous. Oh, you don't know. It's who... John. It's pretty exciting. <laughs> Is it Jake Is it Harry Styles? <laughs> <laughs> Why is it all red? Yeah! Hi. Oh my god, it feels like we're all laying on David's bed together. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone lay down. This is the same quality that Jimmy Kimmel has. Yeah, he does Zoom actually. I think we have a late night show now. <laughs> Quibi called. <laughs> Quibi called. We just got signed. Quibi, <laughs> Fallon, and James Corden have called. <laughs> Is there anybody better that I could have surprised you with than Joe Volpus? Well, I would say Bobby, but he's with him, so. <laughs> you guys see, I got published in the New York Post for my talents. I no did. Way. That's Wait, pretty what do you crazy. Mean? Oh, no, I was in the New York Times. Sorry. <laughs> Weren't they, like, wasn't the article, though, like, <laughs> why health professionals think that influencers suck or something? I mean, yeah, it wasn't the best news, but... <laughs> <laughs> You're just getting canceled. Did you see how it was, like, trending? <laughs> All right, you guys, we're going to get through this game. You ready? I'm going to finish yeah. it, okay? So Joe be next? Yeah, we'll have Joe. I'll give... Well, Aaron's question. This is Aaron's question. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. Here we go. Sorry, okay. Aaron. It's the Florida man game, Joe, okay? You just have to say yes or no. If it's true or not? Yeah. Okay. All right, this is Aaron's question. Florida man threatens another man after failing to flush toilet. <laughs> I mean, yeah. That is true. That is real. <laughs> <laughs> Sending it in the chat. You guys can read it for yourself. I'll prove it to you. That is so insane. Florida man threatens another man after failing to flush toilet. Look at this guy. Wait, why? <laughs> Look at him. We'll find out. I mean, it sounds like something after you're married for like three years and you're like, oh my God, he took, out a yeah, he took out a machete and pointed it at another man <laughs> who had not flushed after using the toilet. That's respect. He's teaching a lesson. Yeah, it's gross when people don't flush. It sounds Cause... like a story about Exotic Joe and like one of his husbands. <laughs> uh, he, he said that he will chop him with the mach machete. <laughs> I want to see the guy he threatened. Me too. I know. We, we, we zoom them in after we read the article. <laughs> yeah. So what really so what happened? happened? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and like, where do you just keep a machete? I feel like he had to have been at his house. <laughs> I think everyone has a machete in Florida. <laughs> I think so. Yeah. Just carrying around with them. <laughs> All right, here we go. I'm going to give one to Joe. You ready, Joe? Ready. Joe and Annalise, here we go. Real or fake? Florida man arrested for having with stuffed Olaf at Target. <laughs> oh my Aaron. God, that was, was Aaron. Me. <laughs> <laughs> what? Why do you like uh, Olaf, Aaron? I what we stan Olaf in this house. If the dog was a boy, that would be its name. <laughs> Olaf. <laughs> Joe, you just... Joe, this is for um. This is for whether you can keep your one, Corvette. One food drop off. <laughs> Yeah, this is one food drop off from Jason Nash if you get it right. One roll of <laughs> toilet paper. We need this. Look at Annalise's face. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Bobby. Uh, oh. Based on Aaron's affinity, I'm going to say true. 
you will be getting one food drop off from Peter yeah! Matt. We can eat! Oh my god, I can't believe somebody did that! What the hell? Place your order. I wonder if it was like the giant Olaf's, like the one we saw in Target. Carly. I know, the one that you're like, I need it. And I was like, it's $50. Oh my god, did it? Uh... Oh wait, I already oh, sent that one. Let me send this one again. Hold on. Oh wow. Oh he tried, it began to dry hump the toy. Nothing wrong with a little dry humping. Oh my god, poor Olaf! He was arrested and charged with criminal criminal mis mischief. You put it on the doll and put it back. <laughs> what the That's messed he, up. How did no one see him inside of? How was no one walking by the aisle seeing him under the Olaf doll? <laughs> it's Holy put God. it back. It's over to Carly now. Carly. Oh, okay. Florida man defecates inside neighbor's grill after he wasn't invited to their cookout. Oh, these are so hard. They are. I'm going to say like, true. I'm sorry, that's false. What? Oh, I mean, how can I know? Carly, how could you think of the state of Florida like that? No. <laughs> Come on, there's good people down there. They don't poop. No, there's not. They I don't know, loft dolls. Well, yeah. They, yeah, but they don't poop in each other's grills. You're right. That's taking you, it way too far. It's you can't much. say that that doesn't sound like something Zane and Heath would do when they're drunk. <laughs> <laughs> I think Zane has done that. In yeah. um, okay, here we go. I'm going to read you the next one. This one goes over to Aaron. Okay. Uh, Florida man sells grandmother's dentures for drugs, gives drugs to grandmother as birthday gift. <laughs> I want it to be true, but I don't think that it is. So your answer is fake? Yeah. That's correct. Aaron is right. That is a fake story. I can Grocery drop off. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Toilet paper! Hey, by the way. How did I'm... you know it was fake? Because it sounded like something John would say. I figured oh. out the formula. Oh, yeah. By, by oh. the way, Joe, these guys, they, they, they know that John wrote this, so they... <laughs> So they put that in their guesses. They're like, well, this is, what would John do? Oh, John would poop at a barbecue. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Joe, over to Joe and Annalise and Bobby. Florida man kidnaps priest to clear him of his sins. Ooh. Wait, what does he do? Florida man kidnaps priest to clear him of his sins. I don't know. That's a John statement. No. I think it's you think real. it's real? Yeah. Can I phone a friend? Are you phoning John? <laughs> <laughs> hey, John, did you write this? <laughs> What's um, the answer, Joe? True. True. I'm sorry, Joe, that's false. Oh. I knew it! Oh. Damn it! Here we go, over to Carly. Oh, God. Florida man denies syringes found in rectum are his. <laughs> true, true, <laughs> true. Carly is correct. Yeah, <laughs> send the article. <laughs> <laughs> Sending the article. Does this happen in other states, but people just like dwell on push Florida. it because it's Florida? Oh, I know. Florida, I know. fun fact has a law where all of their crimes are public records. So that's why when it's a slow news day, the news cycles just pick up the most ridiculous stories. Oh. oh. It's like News 10 is the biggest culprit of them all. Wow. Yeah. Wesley we... Scott. Oh. Wow. A Florida man claimed ignorance when jail officials found syringes in his rectum during an early morning strip search. Wesley Scott, 40, was arrested Friday at Pinellas County on an outstanding warrant charging him with drug possession. Oh my God. That would hurt so bad. When Scott was searched at the jail, officers found three syringes <laughs> inside his rectum. However, Scott claimed he had found the syringes and they were not his. <laughs> what a Friday night. I don't know. I just woke up and they were there. <laughs> Although he, he did not explain yeah. how they wound up in his buttocks. In oh, buttocks. God. Aaron, Florida man threatens to kill man with kindness, uses machete named kindness. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Another machete. Another machete. <laughs> oh, I don't know. 
Oh, I'm going to say yes, just because I want it to be true. You'd be right. Yes. <laughs> What a delivery. Why does everyone in Florida own a machete? <laughs> it's a Florida ah! thing. Florida man threatened to kill someone with kindness and then later cut a man with a machete with the word kindness written on the blade. Here we go. Joe. Florida man steals newborn dolphin from aquarium. <laughs> well, that's true. Uses cooler to sneak it into Miami Dolphins game. Oh, no, that's fake. What the? <laughs> I want it to be true. <laughs> Yeah, it sounds like an Ace Ventura rejected movie idea. But... <laughs> and we know John writes movies. That's right, it's fake. <laughs> it also sounds like us brainstorming ideas for David's blog. <laughs> <laughs> that is so funny. I wanted that to be true. Carly, Florida woman upset over dipping sauce threatens McDonald's employees. Now, Carly, we know you like to dip. I know you love McDonald's. I like, I'm a dipper girl. Yeah, uh, true. Correct. That is true. Nice. There's the story. <laughs> Drop off some coffee, please. <laughs> <laughs> I'm making a lot of runs. Day. What'd you say, Joe? Jason has a busy day today. I know. According to the smoking gun, Malakin began screaming at a drive through employees when she didn't receive the dipping sauce upon being told oh. by employees <laughs> the dipping sauce would cost an additional 25 cents. McLaughlin served up the threat. All right, here we go. We're almost done. It's Joe's turn. Wait, no. Aaron? Yeah. Aaron's turn. Didn't I? I don't know. Oh. I don't know. Who cares? Wait, who just it, answered? I just, just... I just went. It's Aaron's okay, turn. it's Aaron's turn. Florida woman throws bucket of human feces on landlord. Deputy says, real or fake? Real. <laughs> Aaron is on fire. I don't think she's missed one. <laughs> wow. That is real. <laughs> What? Oh my God, what the hell? Wow. There she is. Charlie Nash, furious that her dad won't let her make more TikToks. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh. She meant to soak the victim in water. They were called to a trailer and found the victim dripping wet with feces. Ew, ew. That's yeah. an act of terrorism, <laughs> like throwing oh, poop on someone. There's All I know is she's covered in feces. She's covered in feces. I need you to pretend I don't know what's going on here. <laughs> <laughs> There's woman? poop everywhere, Deputy said. What kind is of there poop? Video? There... Oh. There's oh video? There's oh video. Oh my. No, there's no video. Yeah, graphic content. Viewer discretion advised. Oh. Wait, it says, she said the victim then chased her into the bathroom of the trailer and smeared feces on her face until she was able to run away to a neighbor's house. <laughs> Oh my God! The right there. The the woman, in the video, the woman has feces all over her face. Stop! Yeah. Wow. Oh my God. Erin, you wanted more <gasps> context? Here's proof. Erin <laughs> with her landlord when they won't let her bring a cat and a dog <laughs> into the place. <laughs> Why didn't she wipe this off her face? God. All right, let's go. We're gonna wrap this up. Last question. Joe. To Joe. For all the marbles. Oh, wait, there's a couple more. Florida, here we go, Joe. Florida man assaults, this is not the last question. Florida man assaults owner of popular vegan cafe for not serving meat at restaurant. Real or fake? Fake. They don't have vegan places in Florida. Joe, <laughs> man, I was Joe. thinking the same thing. Joe got it right, man. Yeah. Wow. That's an LA problem. Yeah. yeah. Okay, here we go, guys. This is the final question. I'm gonna read you three. This is, I'm gonna read you three headlines. Two of them are fake. One of them is real. You have to guess which one is the real one. Okay, or you're, you're all three are allowed to play. Okay. Okay. All right, here we go. We're the, a team. Here's the first story. Florida couple arrested for claiming pet alligators as dependents on tax return. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay. I want that to be real. Okay. Florida, fl second story is Florida couple arrested for selling tickets in heb to heaven. <laughs> okay. okay. All right. Wait, Flor there's two fake and one real? Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put all three in the chat so you can look at them. All right. Okay. Hang on. Are we all calling this out or just one you guys, of us? You, you, guys yeah, will, you, guys will, you guys will have to get like a group answer. Florida couple arrested for hosting orgy in chick <laughs> Fillet bathroom. 
I'm going to say the selling tickets to Me heaven. too. I was going to say that one too. Heaven. Wow. I am so freaking impressed. You guys are like really good. Yes. Wow. Really I love that the tax return. Oh, wait. Wait, tax return's fake. Yeah. Picked the yeah. real one. Oh, that's yeah. I was thinking it was fake. Oh, well. Because I, I was like, I, who would buy a ticket to heaven? I knew the, that one because it went like pretty viral. If you like, oh, it did. Up. It did. Yeah. They, they sold each ticket for ninety nine ninety nine to anybody willing to buy that they saw in the streets. They claimed each ticket was real gold, and all you had to do was show the <laughs> tickets at the pearly gates, and you will be granted full access. <laughs> like so insane. What? Easy as that. It is Ooh. not legal to sell tickets. However, it is illegal to sell them as real gold, which they are not. Oh, so that was the problem. The ones that John came up with though are really funny. Yeah, yeah, he did, he did a really like, good job. May or may not have happened in Florida. Wow, a ticket to heaven, that'd be, that'd be cool if you could buy one. <laughs> 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 uh, I just, wa nobody at the police department of Jacksonville knew just how much the Watts had made until they searched the property and found over $10,000 in cash and five crack pipes. <laughs> oh, and five crack pipes, that's fine. <laughs> uh,